Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Seven APC chieftains vows to destroy Shaitama's civil society raises alarm. A group of seven chieftains of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Borono State, has resolved to unleash what they termed devilish campaign against the former Borono governor, Senator Kashim Shaitama. It said the campaign was as a result of the chieftain's grievous outcome of the 2019 governorship election in Borono and regrouping ahead of 2023. The president's coalition of civil society and media executive for good governance in Nigeria, Comrade Omoba, raised the alarm in a statement he made on th Thursday from Lagos. Omogba revealed that already the undisclosed chieftains have planned a mischievous allegations in the social media, claiming Shaitama has been boasted of being in worth of 900 million in cash. The group, he added, went as far as fabricating a false Wikipedia page to support the false narrative. As activities of public rights, we have the solemn duty to raise our voices not only against the wrong carriers out of public office holders, but also to them, to those that are done against by other Nigerians. We speak against everything that is either evil or wrong. Since December 2019, a group of seven chieftains of the APC in Borono, five of whom are former public officers holders, and two of them in public service, have been making fabricating efforts against one of their own, former governor Kashim Shaitama. The main grievance is outcome of the 2019 governorship election in Borono and ahead of 2023. My particular concern is the fact that these chieftains have been shopping for civil society. They have recruited into their evil mission. The group has recruited two experts on IT and social media engagement and have also gone far in trying to register a civil society platform called Northeast Vanguard Against Corruption and Bad Governance with the singular objective of leading various media campaigns against the former governor and the current administrator in Borono State. Their number one aim is to have Kashim Shaitami humiliated, whether by EFCC, ICPC, or by losing at the polls in 2023, should he seek re-election for the Borono Central Senatorial seat, which, is now, which he now currently occupies. As part of their mission, the chieftain recently planted through one of their association a mischievous narrative on Twitter that former governor Kashim, Kashim Shaitama has been claiming he is worth 900 million, which is equivalent to nearly 400 billion. This outrage claim means Shaitama is now worth more than the combination of federal allocations and internal gathering revenue of his government. Receiving in eight years, he was governor of Borono. Omoba noted that the chieftains has, with the service of their two IT experts, mischievously edited the Wikipedia page, which they screenshot and shared through the social media, claiming the former gov governor, Kashim Shaitin, is worth $900 million and has forced to account for 200 billion. Fact is that ev anyone who Googles Kashim Shaitama on Wikipedia will not see anything relating to $900 million on the Wikipedia page because the addition could not stand, the coalition said. Omogba called on credible civil service and the Nigerian public to be aware of many various attacks against former governor Shaitim as the seven shifting have vowed to sustain the attack 
from now till 2023 election and Nigerians should be aware of the mischief and the planting that these people are carrying out on the former governor. My people, there is fire on the mountain. APC crisis continues. It has not stopped. It still continues and it's still there. APC as a party, God will deliver the party to you. They fight against themselves. They are not organized. And there is so much disunity, disloyalty going on. First of all, in Boronu State, they are claiming seven chieftains are um, working against uh, the former governor, who also, you know, is a part of this present administration, administration in the sense that um, the person in governance now, the, gov the present governor of Boronu State, happens to be the former governor's person as well. Yes? So, the issue is still on that uh, they are, and that former gov the present governor of um, Boronu State, who happens to be an ally to the former governor, the, former go the, the present governor and the former governor happens to be close allies. So the former governor, the present governor is working on a uh, 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 re-election come 2023. So the, the, the fire is on the mountain and the, and the, and the race is on. This sh seven shifting, according to the news you've heard, are working hand in hand to make sure that the current governor does not come back again because he's allied to the former governor and their issues with the administration. The seven shifting are claiming it's been alleged that he has seen the present senator representing the senatorial district of Boronu State has what net of 900 US dollars, which is more than the state allocation and when ca calculated amount of the allocation allocated to the state for the eight years he was the governor of Boronu State. When he left, just the way they do, they put their own person. They campaign for their own person. Yes, that person became the governor now. Now, the present governor is preparing massively for election come 2023. Now, the seven shifting are working hard. According to the alleged allegations we are hearing against them, their names has been withheld. But they are all APC chieftains. Five of them have served in the, in the, in the public service before. And they, that means they were part of the governance of the eight years administration. Or, and two of them are in the present administration. So they know the in and out. If there was any work done in Boronu State. See, Nigerians, we are the ones that are doing ourselves. Can you imagine the government? You've been allocated a particular amount of money. And the money does not show in the state that anything has been done. Oh, no. It's a shame because we are the ones doing our cell phone. Then we'll carry our leg and say we are going to the US. Like say we are going to the UK. We are going to Canada. We are going to Australia. We are going to this place. Guess what? Those people, eh, they are mayors, they are uh, house of rep, they are lords and all that. They use the money allocated for the state, for the state, too, for their community, for their area, for their zoning. They use the money. In fact, they are being audited. And their offices, they don't have access to cash like that that they will just be spending the money meant no there is procedures in place and guess what there's what we call whistle blowouts and in nigeria if anybody blow whistle your life blow the whistle join so there are so many corruption so many things so many water under the pipe so many things have gone wrong in nigerian governance that we need to put in order if we are to, to move forward and that's why i'm calling for the young people anyone who is interested Anyone who has a heart for leadership, anyone who is ready to carry out governance, to, to champion the cause that is, that is gifted in administration, anyone who truly loves people, who wants to see Nigeria move to the next level, get involved. Start by registering in a party. The PDP is corrupt. APC is corrupt. They are all corrupt. Join a party and understand how it works and how it runs. Then from there, we can start our own. There is the Omoyale party, which is the only young person I know. You know, for now, let us support ourselves and take this old recycling people out of the office so that we can come there and steer Nigeria in the right direction for ourselves and for the future of our children tomorrow. Nigeria belongs to all of us, not to them and their grandchildren. It's not their father's inheritance. 
Anyway, now the matter be this APC crisis continue. Not forget to leave a comment, thumbs up for your girl. Subscribe if you never subscribe, so you can belong to a part of this tribe. God bless you. Have a good day for now. Bye.